We had a house party. Um, Gregory talked me into it. Because <laughs> uh, he's such a persuasive guy. <laughs> so I invited over oh, as many people as I could convince. And I thought it went over real well. We got to tell some of our stories about what was going on, why we were interested, uh, and some of the policies that Obama has and what we were hoping could happen if he becomes president. When was what we'd like to say <laughs> he becomes president. Well, first of all, when I think back on it, and you know, you go for your first, your very first mammogram, and they said, oh, we, we think there's something wrong. And oh, crap. But so you go, I went back and they, they just did another mammogram and took several pictures and said, oh, no, it's fine, go on home. Okay, well, not quite a year later, I find something wrong. Just me, I find it. By that time, it's in a lymph node. That bumps you from a stage one, for example, which is a 95% survival rate, to a stage 2B, which is what I ended up at, which dumped me clear down to a 65%. Well, I look back at it, and it's, why didn't they do an ultrasound? Which would have been a logical step. Well, an ultrasound is more expensive. Now, I did go for a more radical chemotherapy, which was pretty much hell on earth which bumped me back up to, say, an 85% chance. Still, I lost 10%. Who knows what that means? I mean, something in the back of my mind that, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. You never know. Um, then the way, you know, of course you know the way health insurance works. If you don't work for a company, you, you can't get it. I'll, I'll never be able to get health insurance unless I work for someone. And now I'm on my own. I have my own company. I can't go without it at all. The prices keep going up. Um, the policy I had jumped from 550 to over $700 a month. A month, just for me. That's insane. So you have to change it to a different policy. Um, things like that, in a country that's an industrialized nation that can't ca take care of its own people, when every other industrialized nation in the world takes care of its own people. I don't see the logic. And I don't see why I have to be forced to work for a company I don't want to work for just to make sure I have health insurance and that I don't go bankrupt, lose my house, end up in some hospital I don't want to be in and just die broke because of something I can't maintain or take care of. I've been such a pessimist for so long. There's a little bit in the back of my head going, hey, you can sort of be an optimist. It's like, well, with a lot of work, maybe people can be optimistic. But they have to wake up and, and start to try and fight for what we want.